Previously, I made a tutorial on how to share HTTP custom VPN connection without using any third-party applications, and someone asked about configuring UDP within this VPN application. Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps for configuring custom UDP in this app. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into the tutorial. To begin, first launch the HTTP custom app on your device. If you've previously imported a configuration, tap the kebab menu at the top right corner of the app. From the menu, choose clear or reset configuration to initiate a fresh setup. Then proceed to select UDP custom to proceed with the configuration. Now, it's time to create a UDP account that you will use to set up the UDP connection. Open your internet browser and search for SSH stores. Tap on the first result to open the website. There are many websites out there where you can create a UDP account, so check the video description for the links. Next, tap on the burger menu at the top right of the website to drop the website navigation. In the navigation, Select SSH Server to drop another navigation. Tap on SSH UDP Custom to load UDP servers. If you come across an ad, close it. Now, scroll and choose a server that you want. In my case, I will use the United States. As the website loads, scroll and choose an available server. Here you can see that United States Server 1 is full which means it is unavailable or exceeds the number of accounts that should be open under that server. So, I will choose the second server. Now, you'll have to register an account. Simply scroll through the website and locate the registration form. Fill in the required fields, including a username of your choice. Feel free to input any random characters for both the username and password. Once you've finished, Select the CAPTCHA box to confirm that you're not an automated bot creating the account. Then, proceed and tap on Create Account. Here again, you have to wait for the page to load. Scroll through the website to find confirmation that the account has been successfully created. Below this message box, you will see Copy Config button. Tap on it to copy the configuration. Switch to the HTTP Custom app and paste the configuration you copied from the website on this field. Mostly, UDP works with IP addresses, not with host names. So, you have to copy the host name from the configuration and switch back to the browser. Tap on the burger menu and select Tools. In the drop-down menu, select Host to IP. This will help you convert the host name to an IP address. As the page loads, scroll and locate the box where you can paste the host name you copied from the configuration. Check the CAPTCHA box and tap on the Convert Now button. Wait for a few seconds for the website to convert the host name to an IP address. Here you can see that the website gives you the IP address for the host name. Now highlight the IP address and copy it. Switch to the HTTP Custom app and replace the IP address with the host name. Finally, tap on the Connect button to start the UDP connection. If you check your location using the internet browser, you'll notice that it has been changed. For instance, mine has shifted from my original location to New York, United States of America. Before wrapping up this video, I want to share an additional tutorial on how to save the configuration as a file, which you can later share or import. To save the configuration, tap on the plus button located at the bottom right of the application to reveal three menus. Then, select Save Config. As the save page appears, enter the name you want to give to the file. If you want, you can select Options below to protect the file from being edited by other users. After you're done, click on the Save button. To locate the saved file, Open your phone's file manager and navigate to phone storage. Look for the HTTP custom folder where you'll find the configuration file. Remember, 
UDP accounts typically have expiration dates varying from one to seven days, so keep that in mind. That's all for today's tutorial. Don't forget to like and share the video with others. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching.